If you're watching this video, you might feel like something is missing, that you don't have something you love and want to strive for in your life. You've probably been told to follow your passion, but that can definitely be tricky if you aren't even sure what you're really passionate about. We've all struggled with this at some point in our lives. Don't worry. While you may have trouble knowing your passion right now, it's totally possible to find it. Instead of wishing and waiting for something to come your way, follow these examples to find out what you truly love and pursue your passions. Welcome to Wise Thinking Channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. 1. Is there something you already love doing? What is your passion in life? Do you have a hobby or something you loved doing as a child, but never considered it as a possibility for a job? Whether it's reading comic books, collecting something, or creating or building, there is probably a way you could do it for a living. Open a comic book shop or create a comic book site online. If there's already something you love doing, you're ahead of the game. Now you just need to research the possibilities of making money from it. 2. Find out what you spend hours reading about for myself. When I get passionate about something, I'll read about it for hours on end. I'll buy books and magazines. I'll spend days on the internet finding out more. There may be a few possibilities here for you, and all of them are possible career paths. Don't close your mind to these topics. Look into them until you feel your heart is content, and this will help you get started as you learn how to find your passion. 3. Brainstorm. If nothing comes to mind right away as you're asking how to find my passion, get out a sheet of paper and start writing down ideas one. This doesn't need to be an organized list. It can simply be a paper full of random notes or even doodles. All of this will eventually come in handy later. Look around your house, on your computer, or on your bookshelf for inspiration, and write down whatever comes to mind. There are no bad ideas at this stage. 4. Ask around. There are likely people you admire in life, and there are things about them that you would like to replicate in yourself. Go to them if possible and pick their brain. See how they landed where they currently are and whether they feel they've discovered their passion. The more possibilities you find, the more likely your chances of learning how to find your passion in the long run. This may mean that you spend time talking to friends and family, coworkers, or even acquaintances in your free time. If you're watching this video, you might feel like something is missing, that you don't have Psalm 5. Recognize your patterns. The human brain loves patterns. Sometimes this is a bad thing as we get stuck in unhealthy habits but sometimes it can provide a clue into what really matters to us. Long-term patterns will often reveal hints on how to find your passion. Is there something that seems to come up in your life again and again? A need to travel means you crave new experiences. Gravitating toward a certain author, speaker, or business person could mean they inspire you. Patterns aren't coincidences. They're how our subconscious communicates with us. When you start to recognize them, you'll be one step closer to building a life you are passionate about. Rocking Chair Method 6. Use the Rocking Chair Test. Tony teaches the Rocking Chair Test frequently at his events because it is one of the most powerful ways to unlock how to find your passion. Imagine yourself when you are 90 years old, sitting on your porch in your rocking chair and reminiscing about your life. What is your biggest regret? What do you wish you had experienced? What passion do you wish you had followed? How do you want to be remembered? All of these questions will unlock something in you and give you hints at what really matters to you. Chances are, it won't be what society has conditioned you to think it is. 7. Examine your fears. One creative way to figure out how to find your passion in life is to think about what scares you. Have you thought about quitting your job to write, dance, start a business, bake cupcakes or walk dogs, and the thought absolutely terrified you? If you feel excitement and fear when you think about going all in with a certain skill or pastime, that's a sign it's your passion. It's time to stop letting that fear hold you back. You may fail at first, but don't let the fear of failure hold you back. Keep trying. 8. Get unreasonable. 
There is a reason that Tony says that passion is found in the field of the unreasonable. Passions aren't rational. They often directly conflict with what society teaches us to want. Get a degree, get a boring office job, put up with a long commute, and only have fun on the weekends. That's why you need to listen to your heart instead of your limiting beliefs. Cut the word unrealistic from your vocabulary. Let yourself dream big. Create the most extraordinary life you possibly can. Anything is possible if you remain open to change and the unknown. 9. Get out of your comfort zone. Still drawing a blank on how to find your passion in life. If you spend your days commuting, working, and sitting in front of the TV, you'll never figure out what ignites that spark of passion. You need to get out of your comfort zone and have new experiences. Take a class, join a sport, travel somewhere new, try new foods. Research something you always thought seemed interesting. Answering the question, what are you passionate about, is going to take some work. It will probably make you feel uncomfortable at first. Life and finding your passion begins at the end of your comfort zone. 10. Cultivate belief in yourself. Many times, the answer to how to discover your passion is right in front of you, but you're refusing to see it. Open your eyes and believe that life can be extraordinary. To make your life a masterpiece, you must become unstoppable. Turn your shoulds into musts, eliminate excuses, and accept nothing less than a life filled with joy. This may sound impossible at first, but once you commit to overcoming your fears, you'll be able to overcome self-doubt and reservation, too. This is the first step to finding your passion. Expect the mutiny. When you seek your passion, there'll be parts of you that go into rebellion. I guess that this article itself might be provoking some of those resistant parts. We all have a huge number of fears around failure, success, visibility, and vulnerability that speak in sensible voices, instructing us that we mustn't do what we love. Ding your passion quote five. If you let these voices win, your passion will remain out of your grasp. Instead, look for the fear beneath each supposedly reasonable voice. Uncover the years of conditioning from parents, school, partners, and colleagues, and reassure the mutinying parts that your ship is sailing in the right direction. Find the limits of your bravery. On my own journey, I've mostly lived by the motto, leap and the net will appear.